Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m minus 1 whole cubed equals to m minus 1 and we solve this problem for the values of m only. So uh, here the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to focus in the right hand side and here we have m minus 1 and now we move this m minus 1 in the left hand side and it will be written as uh, m minus 1 cubed and this is positive value when we move in the left hand side it becomes minus times of m minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we will break this m minus 1 cubed and we rewrite this m minus 1 cubed as m minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 1 we know that this 3 is equals to 2 plus 1 minus this is m minus 1 equals to 0 and here we apply the exponent law so according to this exponent law we break these exponents and it will be written as m minus 1 square and it is multiplied by m minus 1 minus we have m minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step we will uh, take common m minus 1 and when you take common m minus 1 from these two terms so we get the remaining values are here we get uh, m minus 1 whole square and here we get minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. And in the next step we uh, we will just divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write m minus 1 whole square minus 1 equals to 0 so from here we easily get the value of m is equals to 1 this is negative 1 and when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus 1 and uh, this is the first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this uh, quadratic equation but this is quadratic equation in and it is not into the standard form so that first we convert this quadratic equation into the standard form and after that we will solve this problem for the values of m so here uh, in order to uh, convert this equation into the standard quadratic form we need uh, the help of this quad, uh, this formula if you have a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so here we uh, expand this with the help of this formula you have the value of a is m the value of b is 1 uh, so according to this formula we uh, write this uh, term as uh, first you have m square minus 2 times of m into 1 and plus 1 square and this is minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need uh, more simplifications and uh, here we have m square minus this is 2 times of m times of 1 equals to 2m and plus 1 square equals to 1 and this is minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 are cancelled out by each other and we obtain m square minus 2m equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, you see uh, we have m be the common term so that we will take common m and we get the remaining values are m minus 2 equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we will write m equals to 0 and the second case is we write m minus 2 equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, you see here this is the our second real root of the given equation and now we need to focus on uh, this equation so from here we move this minus 2 to the right hand side and we get the value of m equals to 2 so this is the our third root of the given equation and uh, now uh, in the next step uh, 
we have three roots of the given equation are the first root is m equals to zero second root is m equals to one and the third root is m equals to two so in the next step uh, here we need to verify all of these three roots uh, so in order to verification of the roots uh, first we need to copy down the given question statement here so that the given question statement is m minus 1 whole cubed equals to m minus 1 and now first we verify the root that is m equals to 0 so here uh, we put uh, m equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation so uh, we have 0 minus 1 cubed equals to 0 minus 1 so here you see that 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 cubed equals to minus 1. So here uh, I can just uh, explain a little bit about uh, uh, about the powers of uh, some uh, negative base. Uh, you know that if you have minus 1 to the power of an even number, so it is always equals to plus 1. And similarly, if you have a minus 1 to the power of some odd number, it is always equals to minus 1. So, according to this rule, uh, you see uh, in our case, this is minus 1 to the power of odd number. So, it is always equals to minus 1. So, we have this is minus 1 equals to minus 1. So this shows that uh, the values of m equals to 0 satisfied over this given question statement. Okay, so now here similarly we move forward and we check the value of m is equals to 1. So for uh, m equals to 1, uh, we uh, again copy down given question statement here. It is m minus 1 cubed equals to m minus 1. And now here we will just substitute the value of m equals to 1 on both of the sides of this equation. So it will be written as 1 minus 1 cubed equals to 1 minus 1. And you see here 1 minus 1 becomes 0 cubed equals to 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and this 0 cubed equals to 0 and 0 equals to 0. This shows that the value of m equals to 1 also satisfied the given question statement. And now here uh, we need to verify our third root and our third root is m equals to 2. And now here uh, we need to substitute this value of m in, on both of the sides of the given equation. After substitution it will be written as 2 minus 1 cubed equals to 2 minus 1. And this implies that 2 minus 1 becomes 1 cubed equals to 1. And you see here 1 cubed is 1 equals to 1. So this shows that the value of m equals to 2 also satisfied the given question statement. And this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.